before Claytano had been nominated for the Forbes 30 under 30 list, before he told us all that this video isn't clickbait for the 10th video in a row, before he used five Zyros's to beat every piece of content in the game that was available. When did the second Zeros die? I didn't even see that happen. Oh, are we killing ourselves? We're told it's killing ourselves. And before he got confused with Camila Cabello, he was actually being confused for YDCB, Drew Bagel, OMG Bomber, Reefy. Wait, why are these... Why are some of these accurate? Hi, I'm Siri, and welcome to another video on Before They Hit Summon. This episode, we are taking a dive into Claytano, aka Clayton Kanamitsu, one of Summoner's War most divisive content creators. God, I'm such a dick! Whether you hate him or love him, you cannot deny his presence and impact he's had on the community. So, strap in, grab a snack, anyways, and enjoy. So of course, stay soupy as always. Don't be potatoes. Peace later, and bye bye. The year is 1992, and on the day of July 7th, Clayton Kanamitsu was born. He was born in Southern California, near the coastal city of Newport Beach. His father was a radar engineer, and his mother owned a vacation home rental business, but also homeschooled him and his brother growing up, after his older brother had gotten into some issues that arose during pre-K. Though Claytano was put into homeschooling outside of his own volition, he ended up enjoying it anyways, because he liked being able to wake up whenever he wanted, and having lots of time to pursue other interests, such as taking piano lessons and singing. So please, if you're out there, will you hear my prayer? I promise I've been good this year. R and Jesus help me. Or teaching himself to program computer applications during his two hours of internet usage. He got a day. What the fuck? But the biggest hobby he had was ice hockey. Clay took up the sport when he was just five years old and it played a huge part in his upbringing. And eventually he did get pretty good at it. At the age of 16, he was drafted to a team called the Ottawa 67s and played with them for a season before having to move away. During the times where his family moved, he played with another team in Washington before eventually playing semi-professionally in Virginia. When he grew up, if he had wanted to, Clay could have realistically taken over his mother's business and not needed to worry about looking for work. But that wasn't something he wanted to do, so instead he went to college for law by getting a scholarship playing NCAA ice hockey in Massachusetts. However, during his stay in Virginia, he met his now wife, Kelly, and fell head over heels for her. And even though he wished he could have stayed, he decided to leave for college anyways. They were 12 hours apart by drive and did whatever they could to visit each other when they had time, but it was still rough. I got Monday off from school, so I thought I'd drive home to Virginia and surprise my girlfriend. Hi. Hi. Yeah. He found the time apart miserable, though he doesn't regret that decision because he gained a lot of new life experiences that he couldn't have had otherwise, and also downloaded a game called Summoner's War to have something to play during his time between classes and practice. Eventually though, he decided to move back to Virginia, dropping out of college in Massachusetts and finally being able to be with Kelly, though as most college students at the time, he was broke. Clay did his best to take whatever job he could find, working at various restaurant chains for minimum wage, for the longest time, often working two jobs at a time, though whilst doing so, he was applying for other jobs and when he had an offer from a job that was a higher paying position, he would quit the lower paying jobs and this way he was able to jump his wages up quite significantly. He even started studying again, though changing his major from law to computer science because he had found out that paying for his own classes was expensive. All during this time, Clay continued to play Summoner's War, and eventually his friends from within the game suggested that he started posting videos to YouTube. He created the channel Claytano, the name that his ice hockey friends had given him, because he was apparently the Cristiano Ronaldo of their team, and then he uploaded his first Summoner's War video in April of 2015, a video of him autoing Dragon's B9 in four minutes. Though his actual first upload was a video of him just playing ice hockey that only a few people saw. Clay actually started enjoying making videos and saw some decent numbers, so he began to chase for more attention online. 
In his early days, he was posting a variety of content that ranged from tips and tricks to spotlight videos and quite a few skits. What's what's up? What's up, guys? I'm Jew Bagel. What's up? Is it time for a video? Is it time for a video? <laughs> no. Perfect. Thank you, Jew Bagel. What's up, guys? What's up, Why do you see me here with some more what's up, what's rehab up? action? What's up, what's up? He continued to upload, even though he received a lot of negative feedback at the beginning. I actually had a name for my haters, and I called them my potato fan base because. You know, haters gonna hate and potatoes gonna potate. The toxicity of people reacting to his social presence dealt a heavy blow to his mood on some days. And exposing myself to the world because apparently it's a big fucking deal to do it. And on other days, when it was worse, it would even affect people around him. However, now he can own up to the fact that there was some truth to people's reactions of him. Admitting to some of the clickbaity stuff and... Though I mean, it's normal. And even some of the more cringiest stuff in his early days. Mm, bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. And his fans on the other hand were his soup. Not soup, soup. You guys are so overpowered and so overpowering. And that's why I call you my soup. And it's an acronym for soup not literal soup, that would be gross. Even though a lot of you guys actually think that, which is kind of cute. Clay kept up the grind of uploading as much as he could as a hobby for almost two years before he saw any realistic monetary numbers. In the years of 2015 and 2016, he would study, work full time, still go to the gym, and then come home, record, and edit videos However, by 2017, he was able to make a few hundred dollars a month from AdSense and also found a way to supplement extra money by accepting sponsorship deals. And that's how he was able to find a way to succeed on YouTube and eventually plant his mark on our game. And from there, the rest is history. Keep your lightning if you're gonna give me a rant or a light witch. What? What? I'm not even looking, I'm not looking. I'm gonna look at the chat. Just look at the chat. Who is it? You gotta tell me who it is. No, don't tell me who it is. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yes! Yes! Brown is happy, good news here. R and Jesus happy. Please. Please! No! Are you sure? Yes. Oh my gosh! Yes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! However, Clay's story and his time in Summoner's War came to a close in 2019 when he started playing a lot of Dota Auto Chess on his Twitch streams. And when the mobile version of the game was released, he began to upload that content on his YouTube channel. For a few weeks, he was still uploading Summoner's War alongside Auto Chess, but he eventually made the full swap and hasn't looked back since. To be fair, the games presented him with tons of new opportunities and almost a way to start fresh with newer audiences that could get to know a more matured version of Clay instead of what we were introduced with for you. No, I'm not putting that shit on the internet. I'll lose all my subs. And in more recent times, his content on his YouTube channel has slowed down significantly as he's moved his focus to his clothing companies which he started, which are growing and seeing lots of success in their own right. Despite Clay's weird approaches, he's managed to find his own footing and style to do things, and though he's long gone from our community, he'll keep doing his best to stay soupy. Alright, nice, another one of these videos out. Now, unless you want to see a video on Coconut Man himself by me, there's only realistically like one other person that I'm thinking of, and then I'm out of obvious candidates for these videos. So please leave some suggestions below in the comments, and I'll see if they're realistic. While you're down there, hey, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that nonsense for the algorithm. That's it from me. I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are. Peace out, lads.